There are millions of people in the world using sign language, and a big part of them are in China. And right now, we know that information technology, especially the computer, grow up very fast. So from my view, I think it's the right time to develop some technology to help them. This project is uh, a sign language translator. It translates from one sign language to another. It helps the hearing and the deaf communicate. Hello. Imagine a, a deaf person walking into a doctor's office. The doctor is a regular doctor, probably can't speak in sign language. Hello, my name is Dr. Wang. What is hurting you? But the patient wants to communicate with the doctor. Today they'd have to use uh, maybe writing and it would be very artificial. But here with this technology, they could use signing and the doctor would be able to understand that that's signing. So another scenario is a, an information kiosk, say at an airport. Hello, how can I help you? And rather than say the person seeking information at that kiosk being deaf, imagine if the person at the information kiosk was, was deaf. Which way is the taxi stand? Now a hearing person could come to that kiosk and ask questions stand? of the deaf person and the system could help them communicate with the deaf person and vice versa. Please go outside the terminal and make a left. Mm. Great, thank you. So I think the great thing about this uh, collaboration is people coming from totally different disciplines and from the different organizations there. So I, I really learned a lot from it. So one of the things that we're doing with this project is working with the deaf community directly. We're working with a, a school in China for the deaf. And they've helped us understand better that there's quite an isolated feeling in being deaf, even today. What overwhelmingly you feel when you see it working is a certain magic, but you, you know that there's more work to do, but you can see the potential there, that, that one day this is going to be something that is going to transform lives.